If you're counting down to the new year, we are expecting temperatures to be in the 40s on New Year's Eve, around 38 or so for when that ball drops in Times Square, rebounding to around 50 degrees for New Year's Here Day. Here I am outside of the Melville Library and Stoller Steps, and as you can see, we do have about three to four inches of snow on campus, with up to six inches expected by this afternoon. Fortunately, it is expected to end around noon or so, so the sidewalks for now should be remaining relatively clear. Taking a look at the broader picture of the mid-Atlantic and northeast, we do see that the storms from this evening are shifting south-southeastward off the New Jersey coastline and off the mid-Atlantic coast, and with that we do have a lot of lightning and some flash flood warnings in Delaware and in Maryland. In the region, a toasty 89 in Harrisburg, 88 in Philadelphia, 85 in New York City, and even at the coastline in the beaches, 88 in Atlantic City. Right now we are cooling off into the 70s in some regions, 76 in Williamsport, 78 in Scranton, 75 in New York City, and 74 in Altoona. We are hanging on to the 80s in Hagerstown. If we look at tomorrow, we will be seeing much of the same 89 in Columbus, 90 in Indianapolis, and 91 in New York City, 94 in Washington, D.C. Looking at our future cast, we can see that the cold front will be expected to pass around 8 or so tomorrow morning. But with that, as you can see, there is rain in the forecast for today, and it looks to remain that way for the next few hours. But hopefully, as you can see, we are getting a bit of a lull in the precipitation. So huh. For your 4th of July, we are expecting temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Hazy, hot, and humid with isolated thunderstorms. So if you are headed out to a fireworks show, please do bring an umbrella. You might need it later in the evening. Of airport delays. So if you are headed to the airports and headed down south, do check with your carrier to see about that. These do continue up um, through the day on Monday as well. If you're looking to head to the beach, Ocean City, Maryland tomorrow, 90 degrees. UV index is quite high, so make sure you are putting on that sunscreen. Rip currents, chances are very low with the wave heights are only around two feet. But that water temperature of 75 degrees, it's been heating up quite quickly. Looking at our seven day forecast, we do see Sunday 90 degrees, Monday 86 it might be the last day you see 80s for quite some time. Then we are expecting quite a stretch of 90 degrees or higher um, with the only real chance of rain happening on Thursday. Looking at our storm tracker radar right now, we do see that the storms from this evening are tapering off, except we do have that one storm south of Harrisburg. If we zoom in right now, we do see that this storm around Lower Allen and the Fairview area has been intensifying. Actually. Pulling up our seven day forecast, we can see that the main focus for this week is the storm on Wednesday. But with a temperature of 36 degrees, we may have some rain or snow, depending on how much cold air is actually in the system and the ultimate placement of the low. We do have a cold front approaching our area from the west, and with it, the associated showers and thunderstorms are drying out as they approach our region. We do expect that to continue. The broader picture shows not much happening in the northeast or midwest, but all attention turns to the Gulf Coast, where Hurricane Barry made landfall this afternoon as a Category 1 hurricane on the Louisiana coastline. Winds of 75 miles per hour. The wind is not the main story here. It is going to be the rain as it tracks north very slowly. We are expecting tremendous flooding in the region with upwards of a foot of rain possible in Lafayette, six inches or so in Jackson, even three inches in New Orleans. It's a gorgeous evening out in Harrisburg right now, We're sitting at 83 degrees with a calm wind, but that dew point sitting at 71 is making it feel extremely oppressive. Looking at today's numbers, 88 degrees is our high, not far from our average high of 86, but thankfully far enough from our record high of 99 set back in 1966. If we take a look at our hour by hour forecast, we will see the temperatures will be dipping down into the lower 70s this evening, 76 around midnight, 74 around 4 a.m. But once that sun comes out, we will be skyrocketing our temperatures back up into the upper 80s to around 90 degrees once again. And if you think it's been hot this year, you are right. So far, we've seen 15 days with 90 degrees or higher, when for an entire summer, the average is only 21. So yes, very oppressive heat, which will only continue into this weekend.